Morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm EZ69, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at this American tier 10 uh, heavy tank, the T95E6, because this tank should actually be for sale. If it's not, let's just talk about it anyway, and uh, you can make up your mind when it does next come for sale, but it should be be for sale by the time uh, this video drops it should be for sale so 17 and a half thousand gold you can get hopefully you can get this tank for um or i think you can buy uh, some crates etc but 17 and a half k gold is actually a very very good price now i used to absolutely hate this tank because of the big hatch on top it basically is like an old e5 however wargaming buffed the tank they buffed it and now i don't even mind the hatch being as weak as it is it is a troll hatch so you can actually get some bounces um but yeah other than that it is like a medium killer we've done a video on it before it's the medium killer um it's got good speed, it's got good DPM, and actually it is a, it's a brilliant tank. It's a fun tank to play. Um, ever since Wargaming buffed it, it, they really have changed the whole, uh, the whole tank, and it's a fun tank to play. So, as you can see, the turret, it doesn't have much turret armor, 127 millimeters, which isn't that good. Um, and also it doesn't have much on the hull, but this tank really, you can get bounces, you can get the troll bounces, but it's not really about the armor profile for this heavy tank. Um, it's about everything else, it's about the DBM, it's about the speed. Overall, it is a fantastic tank, even without the armor. Um, so your DPM, 3,126, which I think is good it's really really good for what the tank is and the reload is just 7.68 seconds so the penetration is 258 on your ap and 340 on your heat you can run it with calibrated shells you do have the heat you can pump that um that penetration up um but i like the dpm i think 340 uh pen on your heat is enough to get through most things because you've got to remember you should play this tank more like a medium. Uh, so 340 penetration for a kind of heavium is uh, is not bad. So I, I prefer running it with the DPM. Um, so 60 heat, uh, heat pen as well. So you've got a 400 alpha gun, 340 on your heat and 515 on your HE. Your aim time is 3.4 and your dispersion is 0 0.330. And do have a nice 10 degrees of gun depression and 50 kilometers per hour speed which makes this one of the one of the quickest tier 10 heavy tanks in the game 50 kilometers per hour is absolutely lovely so we're just going to get into some games that we uh, we had now this one it is castilla um so it's the graphics are all sh shockingly shit um and all bugged um i'm literally just going to show you the first bit of this and literally that is it so i've de decided to come this side of the map because we have no medium tanks whatsoever and the enemy had uh the one two one so if i knew even if I come this side on my own up against the one two one, I do have a chance against him. If I lose it, I'm going to be a noob. So I've got to try to pay attention and to try to make sure that I do not lose this battle. If I would have gone the other way with my heavies, look at the minimap. I'm on my own. Everybody else is around the other side of the map. If I would have gone with them, then this one two one could have had a lovely time. Honestly, he could have had a whale of a time and it got free damage because there would have been nobody, absolutely nobody that challenges him. So I knew that I had to come this side of the map. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, right, do I lose any more hit points and go for the kill or do I try to get a uh, bounce? And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to go. I'm going to take the shot and I'm going to take him out. So that is me versus a, a one versus one with a medium tank. And I still managed to come off top, even though he's got better DPM than me. Uh, we still lost the game, however, but uh, it was a good game. It was a good game. Um, so, yeah, and I come one-on-one -on -one against that medium tank and I come off top. And he even got the first shot. 
and he's even got 400, uh, maybe almost 500 DPM more than me. So, and I still managed to kill that guy. And uh, yeah, so this that is why this tank is the medium killer. You you have to try and play this tank more like a medium tank than uh, than a heavy tank. So if I can see some medium tanks, I'm always going to try to push towards these medium tanks uh, because if you push the heavy side, you don't have that armor. And uh, you can just get absolutely ripped apart. And also the penetration, of course, if you're running it with the calibrated gels, you might, if you're running it with the rammer, sorry, you might struggle to, to penetrate some of these, uh, these heavies as well. So always try to play this like a medium tank. Honestly, if you play it with the mediums, then your armor actually becomes a little bit better. You can actually bounce more than you would if you're playing it like a heavy. So playing it like a medium tank is an absolute must. And honestly, ever since Wargaming buffed this tank, they've made the tank absolutely fun. Like it's, it's a brilliant tank. And it's something that I thought that I would actually never say with this tank. I never really liked it. If, if any of you was around when the old E5 was around, then you know that anything can pen your hatch. The hatch is stupid. And even with this tank, like, yes, the hatch is stupid, but I don't mind it as much now because you've got that speed, you've got the mobility, you've got that DPM. If that hatch was really, really strong, then this tank would be literally like completely overpowered. Um, so I don't mind the hatch as much. Now, now here, I actually thought I was going to die. I thought, you know what? I'm going to get a shot on that E100. He's looking at me. The Amex 50B is looking at me. I, I want to go for him because he's a one shot. And now if I do clear him, even if I die, it will still be a three versus two. And there goes the E100. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to die. Um, but I still managed to uh, get away with that. And I'm still going to stay alive um so just one more shot from the object luckily someone shoots him just as he goes around the corner so it's definitely um for me it is definitely a must-have tank i think the tank is absolutely brilliant um and for 17 and a half k gold honestly you're you're not gonna get much better than that you're not going to get much better for 17 and a half thousand gold for a heavy in tier 10 uh, well, a heavium, because I can't really class this, cl I, I, I tried to, and I know it officially it is a, a heavy tank, uh, but now with the speed, I mean 50 kilometers per hour, 3,100 DPM, you can't really class this tank as a uh, as a heavy so it's definitely a heavium more of a medium you'll be more successful if you play this as a medium tank honestly do not play it tr well try to not play it as a heavy if you do play it as a heavy make sure that you are just there to support like you're not frontline because if you go frontline you're not going to stay alive for very long not many people are going to uh, bounce you uh, so if you are going to play it like a heavy or if you feel the need to play it like a heavy Heavy, then just sit back a little bit you know make let your team let your other heavies go first and then you can sort of just uh, reap up the the damage after the enemy have taken their shots out so that's about it so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it if it is for sale it definitely is worth thinking about buying it is a nice tank one of the best in tier 10 i one of the best heavies in tier 10 now after that wargaming had uh, given it that buff so i hope you enjoyed today's video guys I'm Meezy69, and I will catch you all soon. Bye-bye.